For nearly 50 years, students in Adams County have built houses as part of the Quincy Area Vocational Training Center. This week, another house goes on the market, and WGEM's Dylan Smith was at today's ribbon cutting of the new home. So Dylan, what does this mean for the community? Well, Mackenzie, put simply, it means more housing. For years, city officials have said housing is what the city needs to address worker shortages. Well, today is another step in that direction. It's been three years in the making, and more than 60 students have worked on it. Finally, the house at 2909 Lind Street in Quincy is ready to become a home. For 49 years, hundreds of students in Adams County have built homes just like it. Usually the houses take about two years to complete. Uh, students only work on it for two hours a day during school days, so it takes a little bit longer. In that time, students have built around 20 houses. This one in particular, a two bed, one bath unit. This is another home on the market, and you know our community is lacking housing in every housing category. Mayor Mike Trope believes these types of homes can bring more people to Quincy. It's part of the bigger goal to address local worker shortages. We should have uh, something to 150 more housing units announced in Quincy before the end of the calendar year. But it also takes workers to build those houses. Quincy Area Vocational Technical Center students alone are responsible for home builds, something that could pay off for the job and housing market. We feel that it is beneficial for our students to have multiple career experiences and in the trades and vocations to be able to then either graduate with skills and that foundation to begin in the workforce or to springboard them into additional learning. And right next door, another home build will get underway next school year. It will be the same size, very similar. Um, we're going to move the laundry room to the basement in the next house just to give a little bit more space on the main level. And an auction for the house will happen on Wednesday at 430. All the money from the home buyer will go toward the next build. Dylan Smith, WGEM News.